Hello everybody. Um, take a good look there. You can see that's my electrical panel. It's main line coming in. Standard household breaker panel. Um, 120 volts on each leg approximately. And you may be asking yourself, well, what does this have to do with anything? It has to do with my little project here that I've been working on. Um, you can probably guess by looking at that logo. YouTube don't like logos from what I hear, but what's important if you look right here under voltage requirements, well, we fall in there on the low voltage side. Uh, 60 hertz, three phase. Hmm, a little bit of problem there. But uh, this motor is brand new I believe so there's no marks on it I did go ahead and I, I have a power cord on but I have a couple more things to do and uh, we're gonna have this bad boy fired up uh, okay first thing I have to do is find out where I lost my mind I've got it wired up a uh, capacitor in a I should make a case for this, but I've got it out of the way. And I'm going to go over to the box and throw the breaker and see what happens. That doesn't sound bad at all. Now keep in mind, the cooling fan's blowing pretty good. Keep in mind this is a rigid mounted motor got a metal base on it sitting on a wooden bench if I pick it up there is barely if any vibration on this I gotta take a look at that capacitor because the terminals on it are a little bit corroded so it may not be getting what it needs but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, take an ant draw on it but that motor, <laughs> that motor sounds great I went ahead and I cleaned the terminals on the capacitor because uh, I noticed they were bad. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire it up again here with the cleaned contacts. That motor is running like a Swiss clock. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a good one everybody.